Don't want any. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm Detective Mac Taylor, crime scene investigation. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your neighbor, Justin Davis. Justin? Yeah, he do something bad? Break another one of those floozies hearts? Never the same girl twice with that guy. My living room wall shares his bedrooms, so I hear more than I want to. A few weeks back, I could hear the usual routine start up, but then it got different, and it's been quiet ever since. Uh-oh. Like I said, the guy loves the ladies for a few minutes. Brings them home at crazy hours, but then they never stick. Probably because the guy has a temper, yells a lot. Well, I can only assume what he does to get them going, but it's 15 minutes tops before the banging and the moaning starts up. I hate it. Oh, Thought he was done after another one of his marathon nights. But a few hours later, it starts up again. His bed bumping around for a half hour or so. But it was weird. Real quiet. Not like the usual. That's for sure. I know you said it was a while ago. But do you remember how long? Not sure. At least four weeks, maybe five. I know the landlord came by, knocking on his door when he missed the rent. Well, let's say Davis was murdered the night you heard all this. Means his body was missing for a month. Uh oh. Where I never wish ill will on anybody, but I've slept better this past month than in all the two years I've lived next to the guy. Sorry about that. I mean, it's good that I was uh, reading. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got lost at the shore. Uh, did you know anything about the ring? What is that? Cheap street jewelry? Guess she doesn't know about the ring. Alright. You bet I wrote that. And a hundred others. One for every night he kept me up with his carrying on. I don't know what could have caused that. Never heard Justin moving anything in or out of the apartment. Okay. Oh, sorry. Keep forgetting. I gotta press that arrow first. The soup is not gonna be happy. That mark is on his vintage wood floors. <laughs> not mine. Lost all my eyelashes when I turned 50. Okay. What else can I show her? No, the fire is like a rope. Ooh, maybe the guy liked things kinky. Wouldn't surprise me none. <laughs> uh, money clip. Yeah, that's Justin. This is a pretty clean building. Beats me what that schmutz is. Hmm. I think I showed the ring, but I'm not sure. Uh, it is cold season, you know. Yeah, not that. Let's see, what else can I show her? A chair? I don't know what those marks are. Too few to be notches of his romantic liaisons. Stuff. It's gotta be the ring. That's the only thing else I can show her. Um. Justin Skull That's Ring. Wore that wherever he went. Guess he thought it made him look tough. Amazing how many girls seem to fall for it. I didn't have to show him the ring. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Thanks for your time, Miss Brown. Got an appointment with MTA to try to figure out how our murderer got a frozen body onto a moving train. Good luck.
take pictures of cockroaches, okay. eyes on this. How someone dragged a frozen body onto a subway car without anyone seeing is one for the books. Is that even possible for one person to do? Really? Believe me, Mac. We're scrambling to figure out how this could happen ourselves. Couldn't have been in one of the stations. Otherwise, we'd have it on tape, and we don't. But we're guessing that whoever did this did it in one of the tunnels. What I don't get is how you get a body in the sixth car without anybody seeing. Wait, sixth car? Our trains have five that time of night. Took the car count for granted. How the hell do you add an extra car without the proper equipment? That's true. Should I be looking at multiple people for this murder? Had to have help from somebody somewhere. Really? In that case, I need a detailed map of this train line with all the side tunnels and turnarounds. No problem, but gotta warn you, budgets have been in the crapper since the last ballot initiative. Despite DHS mandates, our maps aren't what they should be. <laughs> Alright, let's get to work. Uh, let's see, first off... I should the tire marks. I'm a man of the rails. Tire treads don't mean much to me. photo ID around to the guys who work the stations. Maybe they know. Okay. A lot of grime in these tunnels. Though I don't know if I've ever seen dirt quite that color. Probably came from above. Alright. That's a pretty memorable ring. I'll mention it when I talk to the guys who work the stations. Thank you very much. I was able to find some old blueprints from the files. Hopefully you can put these parts together. Subway car was housed there for repairs. Could have been the one the murderer made off with, but yeah, don't give me one of those looks. There's no cameras in that area. The closest one we have is uh, this tunnel entrance. Show me anything you have. Here you go. The one on the left was from the tunnel cam last night. The right one's from a week ago. Interesting. Looks like somebody was camping out there.
think we found what we needed. I see what you mean. Could be you have a witness after all. I'm gonna look around. You're the cop. Taylor, New York crime scene investigation. Got a name? Name's Jay Z. What's it to you? I ain't got any warrants anymore. You can check on that. Are these fancy digs yours? Ah, go to hell. You think I have time for every top cider who comes down here? I've had it with visitors. Don't have time? That's funny. I was just admiring your watch. Pretty fancy. My grandma's a generous woman. Now get lost. Hand me the watch, or I'll have half a dozen of my guys move you into the 49th Street homeless shelter. Fine, here. But if I don't get it back, my grandma's gonna beat you with a stick. How come JD is engraved on the back? Grandma's just one letter off. Give her a break. <laughs> Who else has been here? Look, I may not have been above ground for a year or so, but I know this. Nothing's free. You're in no position to negotiate. No, I still got nothing to say to you then. Oh wow. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, maybe I've seen them. But I've never been too good with faces. Say that I wish Grandma gave me the ring instead of the watch. Interesting. You through? Can I go back to my business? You're in possession of a murder victim's watch, Jay Z. Got to take you in. Sort this out. Ooh, Something happened in the tunnels last night, Jay Z. Time to start talking, or I'm gonna think you had something to do with a man's murder. Man, I didn't murder anyone. In the last few weeks, a woman's been poking around, scoping things. Ain't no MTA either, you know. Then last night, she offered a bunch of us wormies 20 bucks each to push this old subway car onto the main track. I was pissed because her partner didn't lift a muscle to help. Ah, uh, here we go. Didn't get a look at her, being dark down here and all. Just some regular lady. Long red hair, dark coat. She wore a scarf over her face. I guess she didn't like the smell. Interesting. What they call me and my buds living down here on the tracks. There's about 20 of us. To come with the whole gang to get that train car moving. 
I helped organize everyone, so when she gave me my 20 bucks, she threw in the watch. Interesting. Yeah, some guy sitting inside the train. He could have at least offered to push. All he did was sit there and stare at us the whole time. It was a little freaky. Guess the guy was already dead in prison. All right, let's see. Um... Yeah, that's Mr. Lazy Creepy Guy. I swear the man never blinked. Look, I tried to negotiate a bonus for that ring, but the lady wouldn't go for it. She gave me the watch instead. Okay. Can I go now? Yeah. You help me more than you know. Thanks. Whatever, man. Hey, Lindsay, what do you got? I've been working on the evidence you found. Hey, Mac. I'm ready whenever you are. Uh, start with Blood analysis thing. establishes the biochemical ID of a person. Let's start clearing some things up by looking at the blood sample I drew from you and the skin from the Vic's ring. All right. DNA is on that ring. Was the sample contaminated? Mm -hmm. Sounds up. Let's try to examine that eyelash you collected on the victim's armchair. Segmental eyelash hair analysis is just like with the leg hair, only this is trickier. Inside Davis's apartment? The fuck? I started to take a closer look at that treadmark found at the victim's apartment. Let's see if we can figure out what type it is. interesting. It's a wheelchair. Explains the gouge on the doorway. I guess that's how they got the body out of the apartment. Okay, good. I thought I should run a segmental analysis to compare the hair collected from the rope with the victim's leg hair.
Probably means that whoever did this untied him after he was dead, before they froze him. All right. Time to take a look at that tissue from under the Vic's bed. Mucus is usually filled with airborne bacteria, but in some cases you can find a nice DNA sample. All right, let's go. Your DNA. That means what's happening here, Mac? Why is your name coming up over and over again? Mac. Mac, I know there's no way you could have done this. But my evidence is lining up like soldiers here. I, I, I'm in I'm in the most terrible position. This is some serious shit here. Stella, wait. Listen. No, 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 Mac, you need to listen to me. I don't know why, but everything you're telling me seems a little left of the truth. I ran your connection to Justin. Turns out you guys have a history, as in he was the prime suspect in your first case as a CSI. Why didn't you tell me this? You need to tell me everything. That's right, first case, and the first perp I should have nailed. He was guilty, Stella, as all hell, but I couldn't bring him to justice. Justin Davis was accused of raping a young woman named Amanda Ross. She'd ID'd Davis from a lineup, but as you know, that's not enough without the forensics. I promised her, Stella. I promised Amanda I'd find the evidence to put that guy away. But that evidence never materialized. But this doesn't look good, Mac. We have your skin and blood on his ring. And because of your eyelash and that tissue, you've been placed at the crime scene. I didn't do this. You know that. I can't explain the evidence yet, but I will. Plus, why would I be this crazy? Freezing a man? Posing him on the subway? I believe you, Mac. But the forensics are telling me a very specific story. I'm sorry, but you know I need your gun and badge. I'm not leaving the case. All right. But you continue, you do so against the law. But you've always been your own man, Mac. Lindsay, I just need to understand. How did the murderer pull off such a detailed frame? The question is really who could have pulled this off. I mean, we're talking about DNA at a crime scene, Mac. It ain't all bad news, though. Check this out. Well, I think we know how the blood and the eyelash got there. Remember, you got punched in the face. Here's a full body scan of Davis post-fall. Compare his rate of decay to what you'd normally expect. Thank you. 
incredibly hard because this one's like really tough. on that one that I've seen because I don't even really see what the difference is, but okay. Man, this case is like really tough because like I'm, I have to use like hints on almost everything I've done so far. I'm so embarrassed and shamed. Decays much faster than normal. Bingo. It's called the Dorian Gray effect. It happens with victims frozen for a long time. Once they thaw, their decomposition tries to catch up with their true time of death. That's why a frozen mammoth decays in minutes after being thawed. It's impossible to pinpoint an exact TOD, but I'd approximate it was about a month ago at least. One thing's for sure. There is no way this guy could have punched you yesterday. A month. That's consistent with what I learned from Davis's neighbor. Anything else? Tests on a bunch of stuff. Nothing done yet. Duck in later. When Stella's not around. Okay. Time to find and confront one of my oldest demons. Amanda Ross. Ugh, that went pretty bad. <laughs> 